Nestled in the hills of Virginia, where touching the Hokie Stone means remembering the legends who formed the foundation of a power. Names like Vic and Beamer and a lunch pail mentality that applies to the Virginia Tech Hokies. There's just something about the nightcap. After a day of wall-to-wall -wall football, it just seems this is when chaos ensues. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Marshall Thundering Herd, taking on a team from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Hokies will kick it away first. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Marshall's offense takes the field. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. They'll give it to the back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. So already they've hit a speed bump on this opening drive. It's third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. On target. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Marshall back at it with another first and ten. The gift to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. neutral zone infraction will push the ball up five yards that last one was just a crushing penalty for this defense here comes second and one didn't get much done on that line he'll fight his way out and maybe maybe pick up a yard everybody talks about dbs they talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical <laughs> that db begs to differ great tackle coming up playing physical like a linebacker this defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll try to power their way ahead. He gets it past the chains, and it'll be a first down for Marshall. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Makes a connection. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. You know, this offense knew coming into the game they were going to get some opportunities to take shots down the field. They feel like they've got the guys in the perimeter to win one-on-one, -on -one, and you saw it right there. Marshall quick to the line. From the gun, the ground game. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. 
Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Touch pass on the run. And a nice solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Out of the shotgun on third down. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Here comes the field goal unit. The attempt is no good. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys, and couldn't do it. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. First down here for the offense. Pulls it, fired complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He keeps throwing it like this for the Hokies, and the defense will have to sleep with one eye open. And the defense is going to have to grip those pillows tight because when a QB gets going and spinning it with the ability to run the football, too, and, and the diversity of this offense, it can be tough, and the Hokies fans will be excited. Off play action on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Lane. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. Love that throw, I'll tell you. If he keeps making more of those, Lane Stadium and this incredible crowd is going to be going nuts. We've called games here plenty of times in the past. This is one of the best venues in all of college football, and this guy right now is heating up at the QB position. Watch out, it's going to be a sonic boom in here. Running with some authority as he bangs his way to the 43. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Got the first down and more. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. And the Hokies have it with a first and ten. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. How many ways can I make you think, right? First drive, out the gates, get it to my playmaker, going full speed across the formation with a touch pass. You better be able to adjust to it. Then when you adjust to it, I'm going to have an adjustment to your adjustment because I'm always right. I'm an offensive guy. In the red area, it's Tootin. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. 
And I love right out of the gate, this offense is going to be creative, and they're going to try to get their best players the football out in the open field. You saw it right there. Here they come facing third and long from the 20. To throw, it's Drones. Fires to the wideout. Got it! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. I love the aggressive nature there by the offensive play caller, too. He's not just playing it safe, get a few yards, center the ball, help our field goal kicker out. He's trying to move the sticks through the passing attack. Quarterback makes a nice throw, and now it's first and goal. The Hokies line it up with a first and goal. Quickly complete. And he will score! Touchdown, Hokies! Well, after that touchdown, the crowd here at Lane Stadium is absolutely going crazy. This is one of the great environments and best fan bases in all of college football. Exit light, enter night. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to him. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Well, it's third and short. They're throwing for it. They just can't come up with that one. Setting up a big decision now for the head coach on fourth down. Marshall will be forced to punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. They move the tight end all over. From the shotgun, the inside give. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's drones. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Smashes through. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After the shower of flags, it's first and 15 for this offense. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. 
Second down coming up. Here's the handoff. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Still looking on the move. At the 40, there he goes. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. And the Hokies headed quickly to the line. Leaves it with the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Virginia Tech is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. The Hokies have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. And he could not get loose on the run. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Back to pass. It's Drones. Looking to scramble. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And this will be a short one from about 21 yards out. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And now the lead is extended a little far. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. 
Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. They'll try the run. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Marshall quick to the line. On second down, looking again to throw. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. Man, these slant routes you throw them quick. It's a timing route. You've thrown three million of them to the wide receiver, and most of the time, he gets his hands up, and he catches it, keeps his body in the way. But right there, just lack of focus, lack of concentration, just drops the easy play. He's probably caught that ball 99% of the time it's been thrown to him. Snagged in the middle. It's Chapman. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. An ill-advised play by that defender as he makes contact with the quarterback well after the throw, and it'll cost his defense. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out fast. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Offense lining up quickly. On the ground, it's Payne. There to stop him after a pickup of one to the 22. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? He'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the defense was locked in. You could tell they saw it. They reacted right away. Got the running back on the ground immediately. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Smashes it between the uprights. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Tootin. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. And we're about to get another look at this hokey offense. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Part of the Hokies' DNA to rely on that ground game, sort of like a Kevin Jones-type guy. No doubt, and I think it's always what's made these offenses go. Like, the running game, the versatility of the running game, but you got to have that bell cow that you can hand it off to to establish it. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, the running back has it. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. 
And the Hokies will have it first and ten. They'll ride the hot hand. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. Makes one man miss. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Now on second down. The give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got in the backfield so quick, the running back had absolutely no chance. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense has had no answer so far. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting his tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Caught in the backfield, it's Jennings. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. We're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical, they're too fast, and they force a negative play. The Hokies will punt it away on fourth down. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field, find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On second down, just keeps firing. Got the quick pass. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to run for it. He gets it past the chains, and it'll be a first down for Marshall. He had a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. 
he wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. Now the play fake. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Marshall will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Offense set on first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes his connection. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And I love working the slot receivers. And you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot. Maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense for sure. Dropping back. It's drones. Using the quick game. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football, sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. That last completion sets him up on second down. A strike downfield. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. He's got the back in the middle. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it. And I can depend on you. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Contact in the neutral zone leads to that penalty. Good news for the offense. Dropping back, it's Drones. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And it's third down, but they're taking no chances. They'll send the field goal unit out before halftime. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. And as we wind down here in the first half, the offense will just take a knee and try to 
muster its forces for the second half attack as they trail going to the break. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in Blacksburg. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to one of the best home field advantages in football, Lane Stadium. Second half just about ready to go, and Marshall will kick it off. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the returner is brought down, but there is a flag on the play. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. He's looking to throw it. Got his man quickly. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, it's a nice-looking throw right there, and I'll tell you what, for Hokie quarterbacks in the past, it's not all about just hurting you with their legs. Michael Vick could kill you throwing the football. Tyrod Taylor could do it. How about this name? Jim Drunken Miller. You could just see him right now dotting an 18-yard dig route. That's a nice-looking throw. That gives me some Drunken Miller vibes, Pollock. Jukes his way for more. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off play action. Throws for the tight end. Got his man all by himself. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. How about that big tight end getting downfield and then finding nobody home? Yeah, he did a really nice job getting the depth on his route, but also give him credit because he found the soft spot in the zone, making that a real easy completion. And the Hokies want to move quickly. Out of the gun to give to the back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop them? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Hand off from the shotgun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense a little too anxious there. They're just making it easier for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. 20. He's got space. He's out of bounds after a big pickup, but there's a flag on the field, and this might be coming back. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. That's reeled in. It's Jennings. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. 
third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. You'll come out a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Virginia Tech! Man, oh man, it doesn't get easier than that. Look at the receiver. He gets wide open. Where's the defense? Nobody around. Easy pitch, easy catch. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. But I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on it. Pass interference penalty will cost the defense 15 and a first down for this offense. He'll run it again. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. They'll leave it with him. He's able to fight his way for a couple of yards, but it'll be fourth down and three. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Marshall will be forced to punt. Fair catch called for and made. On first down, here comes this offense. Hand off from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking for room. It's Tootin. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking for a man. It's Drones. Now improvising. Going to try to get it himself. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Well, and you could tell the QB, he drops back, and he wants to throw the football. He wants to push it downfield, try to get the first down. 
couldn't do it. Nobody was open, couldn't find anybody, took off the scramble. Great job by the defense reacting to it, getting him on the ground, stopping him short of the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Caught over the middle. It's Fitzpatrick. He's brought down solid. Pick up, but a little bit short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. From the gun, running back gets the give. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. Now on first down from the 43. They'll give it to him again. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. Early movement on the offense, and they'll push it back five yards. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here comes the offense on first down. Wants to go up top. Grabbed over the middle. It's Conley. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game and a lot of situations that time perfect coverage and nice job bringing the big guy down not easy to do he's got it on the right that completion takes him down to the seven yard line and they are ready to strike i like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field he's a nice weapon in this offense the terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. They'll go to the air. Makes the catch! And to the end zone! Touchdown, Marshall! Gotta start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You gotta get that first score. You gotta get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. 
And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Four wide out set, two by two on second and five. On the run, it's Drones. He's got his man. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. They keep attacking through the air. Makes the catch. It's Jennings. Still running at the 40. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative. Or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. They get him on the ground with this running game imposing its will. Six-yard gain down to the 17. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. And if they can find the end zone here, that might be all she wrote. First and goal. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll run it from the gun. They get him down, but not before he picks up six to the seven-yard line. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down.
if they can pay off this third and goal opportunity. Man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. Pushes toward the goal line. Touchdown, Hokies! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires and picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Yeah, and that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. From inside the 10, here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Chapman. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing, and you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. Dumps it to the back. Pulls it in. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And, Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough 
going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Marshall looking for the score on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Hurd! Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll line up to go for two. He's looking to throw. He's got it, so they convert the two and keep just a flicker of hope alive down two possessions. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. And that's the end of the line for the return man, but still business to attend to. A penalty marker is down. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll run it from the gun. Good blocking up front. Great job following it. He's got six to the 18. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he's running in the open. And he picks up a huge chunk of yards on that play before he's finally hauled down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps. And the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. The Hokies in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And the Hokies have it with a first and ten. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They say tight ends are a quarterback's best friend in the pass game because think about it. The tight end's the guy lined up closest to the quarterback, which means generally those are the easiest throws a quarterback has. You saw it on that play. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wide out in motion. But jet sweep pass. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. Field goal is good. And that lead grows even bigger.
They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Marshall takes over the ball, the thundering herd offense coming out. He'll start this drive firing. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards, and that's really the story of the game, guys. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. He's looking to throw. It's complete. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Marshall quick to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Fitzpatrick. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. The aerial assault continues. Grabbed in the middle, it's Chapman. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. This Marshall offense putting together a nice drive. Trying to find his man on first down. Intercepted. He'll try to take it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two-plus scores and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Give to the single back. Picks up the first down, still moving. On the move at the 30. And there they go again. Another huge gain on the ground. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. Now let's see if they can follow up that huge play. First and 10 from the 23. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They go to the ground. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you. Right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. The Hokies will try to punch it in on first and goal. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Gets it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Out 
out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense finally gets a stop there, but a big reason why they've got the lead right now is because of this dude toting the rock. And, David, it just seems like he's been getting better as the game's gone on. Yeah, and the defense all night, no answers. I mean, he's just he's shown you a little bit of everything, whether it's inside, whether it's outside, whether it's outrunning people or breaking tackles. This guy's been a game wrecker.